The FDA will permanently allow abortion pills to be sent to patients by mail. The FDA stopped enforcing the in-person requirement for doctors to give out the abortion medication because of the pandemic. Only specially certified health providers can prescribe the pill. It has the ability to end a pregnancy at up to 10 weeks. The change will permanently allow patients to have telemedicine appointments to get a prescription, then have it sent by mail. I had to just share this example with you of this rebellious spirit, this spirit of Antichrist that is manifesting before your eyes. And you're not going to fight it in the carnal sense. You need to seek the spirit of the living God, only attainable through Jesus Christ, because this is what is encompassing the earth. Feminist, and I'm standing in front of Compass Care, which is nestled on Eggert Road in Williamsville. And this is a crisis pregnancy center. This place lies to vulnerable pregnant people and gives them misinformation about abortion and uses stigma and shame in a very discreet kind of way to make people keep pregnancies that they did not intend to keep. We are going to have abortions with or without their consent. And abortion pills are the way of the future. We don't need crisis pregnancy centers. We don't need the Supreme Court. We don't need anybody but abortion pills and online services to bail us these pills. And we can have our reproductive justice and freedoms in our own hands and do it ourselves. And abortion pills forever. even as Sodom and Gomorrah, and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh. 1 Corinthians 15 Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the Scriptures that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the Scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God.